opponent at this point because they put a lot of points on the board. Nick Lynch against William Blett. Before the opening tip, we're underway. And it will start off with Eastern Eagles basketball. And the Mountain Hawks in a man-to-man -man defense. First possession, we just talked about him with the tip. And William Blett had the ball and got called for a travel. Lehigh will have their first crack at it. Pressure already from the jump in the backcourt. Keith Higgins Jr. has been the starting point guard the last few games. Got tripped up there with a steal. Up floor, and the layup is good. Jerron Fairweather and Eastern on top. Jamara Wilson will try to bring it across and does, guarded by Fairweather. Higgins kind of took over the point guard, the starting point guard role about midway through the Albany game. Lehigh team has not played much in December. Trying to get another game in before league play starts. Reed Fenton around the defense ties Reed it up. Fenton. Minute gone by 2-2 two, two here in Bethlehem. Deshaun Ward. Blett. Blett averages 15.1 a game, goes up with the left hand. He is lefty. His first bucket of the evening. We're going to see a lot of their offense go through Blett. He leads the scoring column with 15 a game, but he's also their leading rebounder at over with over eight per game. Fenton has the only points for Lehigh. Nick Lynch left wide open, and that falls short. Rebound is Drake Cooley. Nick Lynch knocked down a three last night against Maryland, showing the breadth of his game. Cooley down the left side. He tries to bank it in, no good. And Evan Taylor the board. The Lehigh team stayed down in College Park or thereabouts last night. Getting in this afternoon here in Bethlehem. Which beats the alternative of getting in about 3 o'clock in the morning. Good defense so far by Eastern here. Here's Higgins, left side for three, no good. Rebound, Sam Gallardo. Gallardo almost had trouble with the handle. Picks up his dribble into the hands of Blett. Hand off to Fairweather, up short, got his own rebound. And a fresh 20. There's Ward, left side, a foul is called. Gonna get Evan Taylor with his first, and the first for Lehigh. Not quite three minutes gone by here. Ward's trying to drive the left side, he'll go to the line. 26 of 45 on the season, 578 his percentage. First one good. That job, that drive may be a precursor of what we'll see a lot more of from Eastern because they do get to the free throw line a lot. Four players have taken over 40, 40 or more free throws for this Eastern team. The high for Lehigh is 29 by Evan Taylor. Most others at best are in the teens. Lynch left open again, steps in. Now sets the screen for Higgins. Pick and roll action. Bucket is no good, a little long. We'll see who it goes off of, and it's going to stay with Lehigh. Nick Lynch able to at least get his paw on that bouncing rebound and knock it off an Eastern player's leg. Lehigh's down four. Early goings here in Bethlehem. Higgins drops it off down low. Lynch for two. Lynch is going to have the a big advantage. A big advantage over just about anybody. 6'11. Blett at 6'8, the tallest, and that's going to go the other way towards the Mountain Hawks. We've talked about Lehigh turning the ball over a lot this year, averaging about over 16 a game, but Eastern came in with a similar number. 
That was the one number on the, the slide earlier that was just about even. Taylor for three, got it. Lehigh has their first lead. Up by one here. We approach the four minute mark. Four minutes gone by. Blett to answer no good. Taylor had it, lost it, has it again. Merrill Wilson drops it off to Lynch. Defense, Keith Higgins Jr. the trigger. Near steal inside, a little flip to Taylor, jumper good. Taylor with five. Taylor, 14 last night, second leading score for the Mountain Hawks down in Maryland. Here's Blett with Eastern down three, up with the left, the hook is good. His second bucket. And the pressure continues. Higgins gets it across easier that time. Lynch straight away for three, off the mark again. And the rebound came down to Joshua Grant, who's checked in. Grant has it again. Flip to Fairweather. Jumper no good, rebound is Evan Taylor. He's got a couple of those. And a foul down low. It's Lehigh trying to work quickly, Reed Fenton. A little slow to get up. Let's take a look at that. It's Drake Cooley picks up his first. I believe Reed caught a little elbow there high on his uh, side of his head. Reed Fenton is 7 of 10 on the season, 70%. He's got three, and it shows the contrast of the free throw attempts mentioned before. Four players for Eastern with 40 or more. And here's Reed Fenton. This is just his 12th on the season. As in both, he's got four points. It's not that he doesn't, isn't able to score inside, and he had a couple of dunks against Rutgers in the opener, but he's... He's been comfortable around the three-point arc. Alley-oop attempt comes up short. They might get another opportunity here, though. The lay-in is good from Grant. As Mount Hawks turned it over after surviving that alley-oop attempt. It's a one-point game. Eastern trying to get a lot of energy from their defense, and so far... It's gotten a couple easy buckets. Taylor for three again, that time short. And it's going the other way. Lehigh has been happy to settle for jump shots here on the perimeter. Let count it with a foul. He went with the right hand this time. He's got six already. And the lead is back to Eastern. Nick Lynch is gonna pick up his first. We saw him go left, this time he went right. So he's a very versatile offensive player, showing that he's got good footwork and he uses his body well to shield his defender. Dominic Perlin will come in for Nick Lynch. Jake Betlow now replaces Reed Fenton. And for the and one, William Blett does just that. Three point play and five straight. Eastern back up by two. Jamero Wilson. Lost it. Oh, they're going to get a late whistle. Dreg Cooley picks up his second. Because that's how... It made the steal easier. There was a foul called, albeit late. Lee, I'll have another opportunity here. Yeah, he's going to need to take greater care of the basketball here than they've done in the first six minutes. There's Higgins. Drives right through, knifes his way. His first bucket. 
Tied at 13 here in the early goings. Nice ball control there with a left as well. Joshua Grant has four now. Put the brakes on in the paint. And got the layup. Merrill Wilson almost lost it. Extra pass to Betlo. Corner three, in and out. And Perlin lost it. No, they're going to say it's going the other way. Off Eastern. Mountain Hawks will maintain possession down two. And that call came down in front of the uh, Eastern bench. Now they changed their mind. We'll take a look. The miss from Betlow. It looked easy from here that it was Perlin, and I think they got the right call. Grant hesitates again, blocked out of bounds with authority by Keith Higgins. Keith Higgins sent a little message there. Don't bring that junk to me all the time down there. Quick trigger off the inbound, no good from Gallardo. Right into the belly of Jamara Wilson. Parolin on the near side. Give and go, back and forth we have it. Back out to Higgins. Again, knifes his way through, no good that time. Loose ball, Parolin has it. Shot clock not reset, it's four seconds. Little floater by Taylor, good. He's got seven, tied with William Bled for the game high. And the game is tied at 15. Good hustle for Don Parolin to, to pick up that miss and know that he didn't want to force it up under the basket. There were players on the floor. Another travel called on Blett. David Bradley's going to check in, number three. As Blett comes out, Drake Cooley comes back in, number 14. He's got the two fouls, both so far for Eastern. Taylor and Lynch each have one for the Mountain Hawks. Lehigh still without Marcus Wilson. Has not played since the Yale game, I believe, which was the 1st of December. Extra kick out. Taylor, no good. And the rebound to Fairweather. Teron Bacon is in there as well, number one. Here's Cooley, right on through, up in the good. Drag Cooley's first bucket, Eastern back on top. Cooley's showing a very quick first step. No surprise that, again, we've used it a couple times now, the, the free throw attempts for this team. Well, you see what their MO is, just to get to the hoop. Perlin, little floater, no good, almost went in a, a second time, and it's going the other way. Cooley with a handoff to Grant. Bacon, turnaround three, is an air ball. Saved from going out of bounds, but it's saved to Lehigh. Feet inside, Jamara Wilson, nice spin move, tried to slam it, came up short, it's going the other way. Fairweather, kick out to Bacon. Step back two, off the mark. Evan Taylor brings down his fourth rebound. There's Perlin. Oh, pick and roll action, back to Perlin for three, no good. And Bacon brings it down. Fairweather for three. No good. A lot of action both, both ways with little to show for it. Higgins will try it. No good. And Cooley Scott for the rebound. It's been a rebounding competition the last minute or so. We've yet to get the under 12. 
Reverse layup again. This time no good by Cooley. Vetlow drops it off. Perlin knifes his way up and in. Good feed there by Betlow. And again, Todd. And a time, any time on the shot clock. Reed Fenton is back in there for the Mountain Hawks. Here's Cooley. Drives again. Gets stuck. Possession arrow will favor the Mountain Hawks. He's tried that move a couple of times. Driving left side, hanging in the air. And then tries to scoop. That time it got wedged between the backboard and the hoop. Ben Knosman is in there, number 25. He brought the ball across the line. Here's Betlow, guarded by Bradley. Up top to Knosman. Lob down low. Four seconds to shoot. Parallel in a kick out. Extra pass. Knosman tried to pass again. And it's a shot clock violation. Ben Knosman comes down the floor saying, I messed up. I know I had to shoot that. He was aware of the, you know, he had that sense the clock was running down, but he thought he had time for one more pass. Sometimes you need to be a little more selfish yeah. at the end of the shot clock situation. He had a nice effort against Maryland last night. Had a couple points, a couple rebounds, a steal, and an assist. Eastern basketball, Fairweather has it. Guarded by Betlow. Feed into Blett. Put that up. Caught by Gallardo. His pass taken away, up floor to Reed Fenton, who will miss the jam. Taylor, luckily not an empty possession. Taylor with nine. Good job by Evan Taylor to stay with the play, assuming that Reed Fenton was gonna knock that down on the breakaway. Ward was no good. The eyes up by two. Lynch back in there, working on Blett. Kick out to Betlow. Extra pass again, 10 to shoot. Here's Lynch. Missed the floater. Here's Fenton, his floater no good, short. And Blett brings it down. Good looks there for the Mountain Hawks. They get the steal there. Pass too strong from Ward. Nice pass there, Taylor the reverse, no good. And Lynch is stripped, contact, wow. no whistle. There's been a lot of action down under that board that was not called. The official assume is right in front of the play. Here's Blett, spins. His left is no good. And again, you see the advantage for Lynch on a couple of these possessions. Now the whistle does work. It's a non-shooting foul, just the third for Eastern in this first half. Lehi has the ball, up by two. Lynch was looking for the back door, it was closed. Again, extra pass, Betlow long on the three. And the rebound to Jerron Fairweather. Lehigh one of 10 from downtown. Eastern 0 for three. Their game is to go inside. It was quickly closed that time. Up top to Ward. Drives again. Lefty layup is good. Kayshawn Ward's got four. Again, tied up now at 19. Jamero Wilson. Rainbow three. First made bucket for Jamero Wilson. He's got three points. This actually matches the largest lead for Lehigh. They led, they led 11 to eight. Now up by three again. There's Blett working against 
Lynch. Nick Lynch standing his ground very well, not getting up in the air. Blett has a lot of moves. Fairweather for three, no good. Higgins got it and was pushed out of bounds. Going to get a foul on Sam Gallardo. Joshua Grant checks back in. He hit a couple of layups earlier. 16 of the 19 have been points in the paint for Eastern. The other three have been free throws. Lynch up top. Wilson drives in. Can't finish. Gallardo flips it back to Blett. Probably got away with a the travel there. Here's Gallardo again. Blett with the baseline jumper rattles it in. Nine for him, graduate student. He has the green light anywhere he wants to, to shoot it. And he's very capable of knocking down, as we can see now, a mid-range jumper as well. Lynch to answer no good with a little hook. Yeah, that was the first made bucket outside of the paint. We got a one-point game. Blett working in the paint again. Great touch off the glass. First and double figures with 11. Lead back to Eastern. Lehigh has had has a, some matchups down low that they have been unwilling to take advantage of. There's one now. Lynch, short. Second opportunity is good. Lehigh back up by one. Even against Bled. Get to in a moment as the layup no good from Ward. For the Mountain Hawks. Down by one. Need to Bled again. Nice spin, blocked by Lynch. It'll stay with Eastern. First block of the night for Nick Lynch. Take a look again. Went right, right up, no foul called. Eastern will have it underneath. Fairweather got the inbounds. Cooley's back in there. Blocked, out of bounds again. This time was Evan Taylor. And if I've noticed the move that Cooley likes to do every time, you know that the athletes out there have known it as well. You're right, but heads up play by Evan Taylor to follow that, even though Cooley got the advantage there. He followed as he got help from uh, Nick Lynch. And Cooley had to adjust his shot behind his head. And Evan Taylor was there to spot it. Putting a second back on the shot clock. Blett, he gets it off, no good. And the bucket is good with a foul called as well as Cooley with the fresh time able to make it happen. Evan Taylor gets his second. Cooley right underneath. And an easy call there for the official as Taylor's arms both came down. The end one is good. Cooley now with five, and it's a two-point Eastern lead under three minutes to play first half. There was some confusion there on that inbounds with how much time should have been left. As Jamero Wilson, you talked to Greg about the advantages. That was one that they took advantage of. Eastern went to a zone on that possession, and Lehigh able to pick it apart with that nice pass. Cooley drives, no good. Knocked out of bounds by Nick Lynch. Will stay with Eastern with under two and a half to play. First half here in Bethlehem. Reed Fenton checks back in for Evan Taylor. Two, two. 
Lehigh shooting 33.3. Eastern dead even, 33.3. Gallardo, reverse, no good. Lynch brings down another rebound, that's his sixth. Knosman swings it far side. Nice pickpocket there by Joshua Grant. The no look pass, who is out of bounds? Sam Gallardo caught the ball with his foot out of bounds. Missed opportunity there for the Eagles. I'd love to know what, what the average is per game where that happens. I've seen games, I've seen a half where it happened three times. Uh, be interesting. Another steal by Grant. Goes up, no good. A foul called Knosman, the likely culprit. And it is his first. Two straight possessions with Grant with the steal. Tipped it up. Tried to take it himself. You see Knosman right there. Grant is 67% on the season. Six of nine. That's four points already. Ben Kanos been doing the smart thing there, though, defending the rim and not allowing an easy basket if you don't have to. Well, it's already paid dividends with that first miss then. Even if he makes this one, it's a one-point possession as opposed to uh, uncontested layup. And there you have it. No points at all. Makes that move look even better. Yeah, if you're Brett Reed, you, you trade a foul there. Zach gets knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Lehigh. You trade somebody's first foul. You know, if somebody already had three, you don't want to give up the fourth. But right. End of the first half to get your first in that situation. You trade that any time. Lynch backing in. Up with the right hand, rolls it in. Behind back up by two. You can tell how soft that shot is from Nick Lynch. That ball bounced around very gently and nestled right, right through the net. Back door, answered. David Bradley. Risky pass there from Bled. But a pretty it up. play. And another steal. There's Grant. Kick out to Bacon. No. Got his own rebound. Under a minute to play, first half, tied at 28. Blett had a wide open teammate, goes up by himself, plays a little tap game. They're very active, trying to keep the energy up and create easy baskets, and they've been successful here in the first half. Well, pressure on the far side is Jacob Alamudun's in there. Eastern bench wanted to travel. Here's Higgins. Great defense again by Fairweather. Of course, as I say that, he picks up his first foul. The guy's got to attack this defense and get some easy buckets. The more you back up and sort of wait around, that defense is going to get more and more aggressive. Here's Higgins, drives in. Soft touch, no good. Eastern could hold for the last shot. Shot clock is turned off. They have a two-point lead. And with this Eastern team, this is not your Penn State satellite campus that Lehigh's playing. It's a very good D2 team, as that one's no good. And Lehigh's going to run out of time. And then not again, they threw that game in at the last minute. Found out on Sunday they were going to go down to, to Maryland. Half the team, I would think, if, if not more than half the team, was out of town over the holidays. So you talk about travel getting there and back as Gallardo gets the scoring started in the second half. Gallardo's first bucket. Some players took the red eye Sunday night into Monday. They got a shoot around, drove down to Maryland, played last night, stayed last night as Evan Taylor gets his first bucket of the second half. 
He leads the way for Lehigh with 11, back to a two-point game. Sometimes it's new. It's good not to think about it too much. Just get ready, go play the game. I know coaches love to prepare immensely for each contest with film and everything, but didn't allow for that with the Maryland game. Let down low. Somehow gets that one off the glass to fall. He's got 15. He averages 15.1 a game. And Lehigh's not going to want to just trade baskets here. They are going to want to get it across the line. They do with a second to spare. You know, this is a Lehigh team that is conditioned in a way to play these back-to-backs. There's another steal by Eastern. Cooley got his hand on the pass. Here's Gallardo. Blocked. And out of bounds it goes by off Higgins. Last year's COVID season, they played Saturday, Sunday in league play. They only did play league play. So if anything, as you see, the drive there by Gallardo. If anything, the players that were around last year do have some experience with that back-to-back, -back, although not usual in college basketball. Good point, though, Matt. It's not it's impossible to do. It's just <clears throat> depending on who you're playing and how much you have to travel is the issue. But it was done last year because of COVID. Chatton drives in, can't finish. Well, Reed Fenton did about all he could to get to the rim, and the ball just wouldn't wouldn't fall for him on a, on what looked like a very soft shot. Let couldn't finish that one, but a foul on the floor on that rebound attempt. We'll keep it with Easter. It looks like Evan Taylor's fifth, sorry, his third. Where's number five? It's a big difference. 20 on the clock. As Ward got it in. Gallardo's been the aggressor this half. Can't get that one to fall. Here comes Lehigh. Evan Taylor, offensive foul. And that's not what you want if you're Dr. Brett Reed. A quick third and fourth foul. Extended the shoulder just a little bit. Or lowered his shoulder. One of Lehigh's best offensive players going to the bench here early in the second half. He comes out, Ben Knosman checks in. With Lehigh down four, and this is their largest deficit. Much of that first half was played within a two point game. There's a long two by Gallardo. It's a six point game. There must be a charging station that in the visitors locker room that Sam Gallardo plugged into at halftime. Tamara Wilson nonchalantly knocks down a much needed triple for the Mountain Hawks, makes it a three point game. Blett foul called on Lynch. He'll be shooting two. Lynch picks up his second. Let the nice spin move has been using that flip off the glass. Just could not get it to fall. He has good footwork and is able to go left or right, which makes him much more difficult to defend. And he shoots it with either hand. Gallardo in the first half was 0 for 2. He is 2 for 4 so far in the second half. Four of the six points as they work to mop up from Nick Lynch. Blett hit a, an and one earlier in the first half. Came in at about 73%. Jake Betlow, number two, Dominic Parolin, number 35, check in. Fenton and Lynch take a seat. Jake Betlow has been a spark plug off the bench for Brett Reed some prior games as he's been able to knock down some perimeter shots and loosen up the defense. 16 now for William Blett. Against the zone defense. 
Knozman. Wilson. Feed down low. Parolin. Nice job. Nice finish. Back to a two point game. Joshua Grant Grantson there. He wears number five. If they go back to Blett. Fairweather. Stopped by Higgins. Cooley. Blocked by Wilson. Out of bounds, they'll say it's Lehigh ball. Last touch by Jerron Fairweather. Mountain will have it down two. Yeah, with a good defensive possession there. Let skies for the block on the would-be bucket for Higgins. Good look for Keith. Black gets it back, drives on in. Can't, does finish. <laughs> Was about to say can't connect, but he did. Contact there from Grant, but no call in the backcourt. Four-point game again and a steal. Fairweather, the flip to Gallardo. Extra pass, corner, Cooley, no good. Grant almost timed it right, but the rebound came down to Jamero Wilson. Higgins left open for three, knew it all the way. Higgins up to five, it's a one point game. As we approach five minutes gone by here in the second half. The block there by Lehigh, Harlan. Higgins to Betlow. Wilson guarded by Cooley. To the paint, will fade away, got it! Wilson's in double figures with 10. He and Taylor back-to-back -back games. Lehigh needs Jamero Wilson's leadership here. The ball needs to get in his hands more often because good things happen. No good from Cooley down low. Not sure if Wilson got a hand on it or not. Might have got a finger on it. Hawks will have it up by one. Here in the second half. Knosman has it up top. Betlow still in there on the near side. Feed down low to Wilson, double team to kick out. Feed inside now, back to Perlin. Almost lost it, 10 to shoot. Out of the hands of Higgins. Four seconds. Higgins, corner three, no good. And Cooley came down with the rebound. It's a 5 0 run, the last two minutes and change as Cooley can't connect. Trying to get the lead back to Eastern, no good that time. Feed inside, nobody home. Knosman was trying to find Jamero Wilson. That is the fourth turnover of the second half already. Have yet to play seven minutes. Grant almost got caught in no man's land. It's Knosman with the steal now. Up floor, Higgins. Blocked from behind, a late foul called. They're going to get Jerron Fairweather with his second. Looked like Higgins had a little bit of trouble with that pass at first. Yeah, he got caught. It was a good lead pass from Ben Knosman, but sometimes you get right in between whether you should put the ball down, take that little dribble to get yourself gathered, and he decided to try and catch it in midair and go right up. Higgins at the line, misses the first. He's now 0 for 3 on the season from the charity stripe. Kevin Higgins came in here from Chaminade Prep in West Hills, California, and he was a scorer. He scored 1,300 points in his first three seasons, and as a senior, put up 50. 51 points in one game. Here he's been asked to become the point guard. 
It's a relatively new role for him. Mentioned about halfway through the Albany game. Almost became his starting position. Blett powers his way in. Backing in on Perlin, he has a 20 point game. And we are tied at 41. Higgins drops it off or tries to anyway, taken away by Bacon. Blett spins again. Wild shot. Put back, no good. And it's going the other way. Higgins comes down with a rebound that time. Betlow thought about it. Instead now feeds inside to Perlin. Stuck underneath. A kick out. Higgins from the wing, no good. And Fairweather knocked it out of bounds. Lehigh came in with three freshman point guard, guards. Ben Kenoshman got the early look. Yeah, Tyler Whitney, Sydney as well, along with Keith Higgins Jr. Marcus Wilson then actually took over the point guard position, but he's been out with an illness, non-COVID related. There's a foul on Joshua Grant. So it's been a revolving door at that position, and that's a position where Lehigh has been spoiled that they had three point guards take over that position when they got here as freshmen and just played it for four years. 12 straight years of Patriot League play at point guard, essentially. Wilson would tend to shoot backing in, back in the hands of Higgins. Betlow, Higgins again. That time gets it to fall. Lehigh up three, Higgins Jr. with nine. That was a deja vu play. We just saw that about a half a minute ago. Jake Betlow driving and getting Higgins a shot. Five left. Gallardo for three. That's no good. And the rebound came down to Higgins. He's got four of those. Batlow in the corner rattles that one home. Batlow's first triple. Makes it a five point game. This is the largest for either team. Scratch that, there was a six point lead. The start of this second half for Eastern. Gallardo on the near side. Four to shoot. Not sure Ward knows it. Gallardo's gotta get it off, does, but it's an air ball. And it's gonna go the other way anyway. So Lehigh going to the zone really disrupted the, the flow of the Eastern offense as they were unable to adjust to where the seams were, where they were getting shots typically. Quick steal by Ward. We've seen that before. Just about halfway home in this second half. Drop it off down low. Knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Eastern as Blett was trying to go up with it. Long lob up top. Let lost it, but picked up by Gallardo. Almost got the continuation, but a foul is called. Ben Kenosman picks up his second. Two shots coming for Sam Gallardo. We were talking before about 
in a way the revolving door of the point guards. Well, Wilson has been out since the beginning of December. Tyler Whitney Sidney did not play last night, has not seen the action tonight. I understand maybe an ankle injury. He is dressed and was participating in warm-ups, but we have yet to see him. Yeah, he had a very awkward fall and twisted that ankle as he came down on the ball right here near half court in Lehigh's last home game. That is Tyler Whitney Sidney I was talking about. Keith Higgins Jr. has done well, though. Ethan Osman is in there as well. He's out there now, although just had it stolen away again by Ward. And it's going to stay with Eastern as Jake Betlow, the hustle, knocked it out. Well, Lehigh, you know, typically you're going to give it to your point guard and he's going to dribble up against the uh, opponent. But Ward has certainly turned into a very formidable uh, presence in just bringing the ball up. And Lehigh can easily al alleviate that by just passing the ball over it, setting it to the middle of the court and attacking. Deshaun Ward has four steals. There's some debate about the shot clock here. They put 20. And I don't know that that makes any sense. Why would it make sense? Oh. There's another, there's a steal going the other way. Evan Taylor back out there playing with four fouls. Not that it mattered, but should have been 30 seconds or just shy of that for Eastern the last time. The guy's up five. There's a foul on Fairweather. His third. Now Lehigh in this position needs to go inside, get it to Jamero Wilson, Nick Lynch, and either get to the line or get some easy baskets. Higgins back in there. Going by Ward. As requested, in the Lynch, no good, but a foul is called. They heard me. William Blett picks up his first. It is five now for Eastern. Nick Lynch at the line for the first time tonight. No good. Nick, 17 of 18 coming in to today. Just one miss, 94%. He's not just the guy who can play with his back to the basket. He has shown he can shoot the mid-range jumper, and he's made some threes. He's made one tonight, and he made one last night against Maryland. Timeout is from Justin LaFleur that the nine points for Keith Higgins Jr. now a new career high. He scored seven against Albany. Justin a little under the weather. We wish him well. Foul inside on Nick Lynch. That is his third. And going back to Keith Higgins, you could see his confidence growing in this position. He got that opportunity. He had seven points against Albany, and you could see it grow in the second half alone. Blatt with a nice spin again. William Blatt with 22. And he's done that all night. And you mentioned a couple of times, could go up with the left or the right, especially near the rim. Batlow double teamed, looking for a cut. Wilson with the bucket, he's got 12. Jake Batlow went down in the corner, a dangerous spot, but he was able to split the double team that Cooley and his team were desperately trying to put on. Let couldn't finish there, maybe blocked by Lynch. Six-point game still, or again, Taylor, Betlow, just needed another inch of space. I think he puts that up, and there's a steal. Fairweather, just over eight minutes remaining. Ward drives in the right side, scoop is good. Kayshawn Ward with six, he averages 10 and a half. Just a little under there, 
And he picks up his first foul. Lehigh basketball with a four point lead. Under eight to play here at Stabler Arena, Bethlehem, PA, Lehigh and Eastern. Both teams have had six point leads. There's a foul on Blett down low. The first half, the largest lead was about two or three. Eastern took a six point lead, 36 30 early second half. Lehigh just had a six point lead. Looking to get there again, Lynch at the line. He's one of two. Could make it a six point lead again. And good. Lynch is up to nine with six rebounds as well. There's Ward. Gallardo was busy to start the second half and quiet since. Blett turn around. Banks it in. 24 now for Blett. It's a four point game. That might have surprised Blett even that it went in, but still always ready to pull the trigger. Lynch backing in, no good. Rebound is Ward. In the corner, Bacon off the back iron. You like Bacon on the cast iron, not necessarily the back of the iron. <laughs> yes, I've been sitting on something like that all night. A good teammate, though. Bacon goes with anything, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Four point game. Betlow, baseline. Extra pass to the corner. Taylor got it. Back to back games with 14 for Taylor. Last night at Maryland, tonight here at home. Seven point lead. Kick out, Ward for three. No good, Long. Gallardo steals it. And a foul on the dunk attempt. That's going to be four on Lynch. I think Jamero Wilson shaking his head a little bit in terms of how did I lose that basketball or why wasn't there a foul called. It, hard, take, hard for us to see from this angle. Take your pick. So Black goes to the line. He's two of three. Take a look. Wilson thought he had it, or the foul, as you mentioned. I think on the replay, you look at it, could could have gone either way, actually, because Jamero's hands were extended. Let Gallardo, out with 25. Gallardo did go just for the ball. Twenty-six. Let's coming off his career high 28 points in the last game. So he's on a scoring tear. Betlow lost it going up. And Wilson lost it out of bounds. Betlow had a clear path. Maybe tried to be a little too fancy holding the ball out. Lost it. And they lost possession. Eastern down five. Eat inside, where else? Blett. Kick out to Gallardo. Blett sets a screen. The foul called. Looks like Higgins is going to get his first. Eighth team foul, so Blett is back to the line with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. What were you saying about his career high? 28, he's at 27 now.
Won't get it that time. He's going to stay with Lehigh. Ball got loose by Sam Gallardo, went, went to retrieve it, but the ball had landed, must have landed right on the line. John Fairweather and Joshua Grant check back in. Zero and five. Just under five and a half to play. Second half action here at Stabler Arena. Perlin's back out there. They let him bring it across. And a quick whistle. And there was an easy way to bring the ball up. <laughs> Let your center bring it up because the opposing center is under the basket. Foul is on Dreg Cooley. It'll be a one and one opportunity for Higgins now. Already a career high with nine. His first ever double figure game, he's got 10. Lead is five again. Got them both. Missed his first free throw today. We're putting him at 0 for 3 on the year. Now he's hit his last three. Lehigh has gone back to this zone, which has created some difficulty, except when you throw in a shot like that by Sam Gallardo, who's been on fire here this second half. He's got six now, all in the second half. Four-point game. And this pressure, whether the backcourt or the front court, has been intense all game long. Feet inside to Parallel. And they're going to get Blett on another foul. And I'm not so sure about that. I was blocked by the official. We'll take a look here. You got the feet into Parallel. It looked like Perlin just kind of went up into his elbow to me, but Dom's at the line shooting two here. In prehistoric times, officials still called that foul, regardless of what the rules were. <laughs> it just seems to be, as a big guy under the basket, no matter what you did defensively, holding your arms up, most times the official just assumed the contact came from the defensive player. Well, they say the ball don't lie, so 0 for 2 there at the line. Still a four-point game, four and a half to play. Cooley, nice steal there by Evan Taylor. He read the back door cut perfectly. Harrell back to Taylor. Kick it near side. Higgins, got it! Keith Higgins Jr. has doubled his career high now to 14. His third three-pointer and a big one there. That nearly did not fall. You know, we talked about him taking on the point guard responsibilities, but the more the more you shoot in rhythm, the easier it becomes. Jaron Fairweather hits his second bucket. He's got four. Eastern continues to come. They're not going to back down. There's a foul called on Fairweather. Now it's the 10th foul, so shooting two. Now three of four, 14 points. As I said, he was a big time scorer in high school. He was one of the top 100 shooting guards his senior year in the country. He had two points at the break. And now 16 for the game. Eighth Mountain Hawk this year to go for double figures. And the third today. Gallardo, no good but a foul. Correction, Lehigh 
Higgins picks up his second. Gallardo 0 for 2. Came in at 62%. Battles that one in. Gallardo at 6-1 out of San Antonio, Texas. Looks undersized, but he makes up for it in quickness and hustle. Lane violation, he missed it anyway. So it's a six-point game. Again, pressure knocked out of bounds by Cooley. Will stay with Lehigh, or at least give them another opportunity to get the ball in. Lehigh has turned the ball over a few times in the backcourt. A few more times in the frontcourt as well. 17 on the game. And they went back to the play you drew up, Greg. Get Brett, to the big man. They're not covering him. Brett Reed called it. A little closer defense on Higgins. Kick out to Betlow. Under three to play. Under five to shoot. Taylor does just that, hits it. 16 for Evan Taylor. Evan Taylor showing off that sweet stroke, showing that he can get his own shot from the corner. And a turnover after Lehigh has taken their largest lead of the day, this eight-point lead. Eastern has won eight in a row. And they got the steal. Who else? Ward poked it away. Fairweather. Back to Ward and a travel. Well, you have to know with what Eastern's done all game, you can only dribble so far and outrun Ward or Gallardo because they are coming to double team you. 225 left, Lehigh with the basketball. So you and need a little communication. Sorry, Matt, you just need a little communication from your teammates. Parolin picked up his dribble back to the hands of Higgins. It's a safe rule for a big guy, no more than two dribbles. Metlow for three, no good. And the rebound to Mer Fairweather. Blett trying to power his way through, in and out. Betlow the rebound and he's fouled. Boy. Got to get Gallardo on the push. Blett did an amazing job, I thought, to get up a very soft shot with his left hand here. It it's almost went in. One of the few that went in and out today for him, 27 points on, well, he's 11 of 23. We'll make it sound like he said everything, but very active out there today. TIAA is proud to be the official partner of the Patriot League. To help those who are purpose-driven reach their definition of success. Investing advice, banking, retirement. Learn more at TIAA.org. Jake Betlow was the first three or free throw he has attempted all season. And he has no been good. parked out on that three-point line and and he's driven here a number of times, but he knows exactly where to find his open teammates on the perimeter. And he's fed Keith Higgins a couple of times to give him good looks at threes. He does have three assists on the evening. Still an eight-point game. Minute 40 left. Blett misses that one. Still one shy of that career high he set last time out. Gets knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Lehigh. Fairweather comes back in for Bacon. And a timeout called by the bench. It's right there. 
Lehigh has seven threes in the second half. 10 seconds to shoot. Higgins guarded by Ward. Harlan tried to set a screen. Pull up jumper, soft touch, no good. But an offensive rebound by Higgins. They're not employing the foul just yet. But on cue, Cooley will pick up his fourth with exactly one minute to play. That was as good a result as Lehigh could have had on that earlier possession as Keith Higgins just missed but was able to track his own shot down and was alert enough to just pull it out and try and take another 30 seconds off the clock. Bello hits that one. He's got four. Jake's going to be very annoyed at himself for missing those two free throws a minute ago, but he, here he makes up for it by making the second one. Makes it a 10-point game. First time either team has led by double figures. Short-lived as Keyshawn Ward and now has eight points. 50 seconds left, and a foul is called in the backcourt. Looks like Gallardo will pick up his fourth. You throw a technical foul in there as well. Gallardo gets his fifth personal as he also has the technical. So his day is done. Seven points all in the second half. Great effort by Sam in the second half. Evan Taylor will be shooting a couple. He now has 17 points. This Eastern team, I don't know what the odds are, but it, I think they're pretty darn high. They, they can win their league. Well, we mentioned before how talented this team is off to one of the best seasons in their history of D3 basketball. They're 3-0 and in their league, and they just won a game 89-80. to And you can see the scoring potential here. Lehigh was able to squelch that a little bit. They came in averaging over 76 points a game, and right now with a, less than a minute left, they've got 58. So Lehigh are able to disrupt that offense. And these free throws, especially the two technicals that Taylor just hit. Higgins just hit his first one here, has a second. That one's good. 18 points for Keith. He's going to make the final score. Not necessarily indicative of how this game was played, Greg. Exactly. A little deceiving the final score, but. And there's the new career high for William Blett and a foul to boot. He's up to 29. Dominic Perlin picks up his second. And a chance to get 30. Not that many times in your career you get to get 30 points. He did. Nine point game. They're loosening up a little bit on the pressure. And they're not fouling. Lehigh cannot run the clock out about a seven second differential the starters for eastern have uh for the most part gone to the bench except for william blett it'll take a shot clock violation it'll officially be the 19th turnover so more turnovers in the second half but as we mentioned more made buckets more made threes in that second half to pull away late. When the ball goes through the net, it makes up for a lot of errors. Three-point attempt and the slam by Blett. The exclamation point for him. That's 32. 